RAM as in random access memory stick is a printed circuit board on which memory modules are mounted. These RAM sticks permit easy installation and replacement in electronic system, especially computers like workstations, personal computers and servers. RAM is a special type of computer memory which can be altered or updated in any order. This memory is typically used to store temporary data and machine code. In contrast with other types of memory media like solid state drives, hard disk drives, DVD drives, CD drives, it is not a permanent storage. It is temporary. That means it is volatile memory. You shut your system down and all data is gone. So what is RAM used for this? It is very fast which makes it ideal for things that computer is presently working on such as an application that you are currently running for example the web browser in which you are watching this video and the data those applications work on such as this video number of likes dislikes and subscribers Speaking of likes, dislikes and subscribers, if you are liking this video, press the like button. If you are not, then write about it in the comments. And as always, subscribe to SS Tech Tutorials. Now, the way this memory works is a signal going up and down at a specific clock rate. The data in bits are sent at each pulse of the clock cycle. The clock speed corresponds to how much data throughput the RAM can handle. Along with clock speed, there are also other numbers which are known as timings, expressed in string of numbers like 99924. These numbers are the measures of latency as number of clock cycles per second that it takes for your RAM to do things like accessing a specific set of data. So shorter timings means faster RAM. Together with timings and clock speed determines how fast your RAM will operate. RAMs are of different shapes with respect to the different generations and applications. Starting from SDR, single data rate, then the DDR, double data rate, which as the name suggests, has double data rate of the SDR which was really like a transistor, which means the present generation RAM will be twice the speed of the previous generations. For example, DDR3 operates at 1866 MHz, whereas DDR4 operates at 3200 MHz. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like it if you liked it. If you didn't, comment about it and remember to subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.